the men are too sassy, the women too masculine. But it's like each is to blame for why we there. Shout out to Beehive ATL, man. Shout out to Aaron Ray, you know what I'm saying? She's speaking on masculine women and feminine men these days. Let's go ahead and get into the video. This thing. Miss Aaron Ray. What's up? What the hell's going on? <laughs> First of all, where you been at, Aaron Ray? You ain't came back to the show in 15 years. I thought you just ran off and was somewhere balling. Okay, Aaron Ray, I know you have been fed up because I have talked to you about, you know, the state of black America. <laughs> Uh, you're pissed all the way across the board. I mean, based off of the stuff that I've seen trending on social media and on YouTube and in the blogs, I'm just, you know, up to here with it. You said that uh, we're heading into a social media sassy apocalypse. I mean, this shit is getting kind of sassy, but, you know, that shit by design, man. Y'all know the people who run this shit trying to demasculate men, you feel me? Trying to make women feel more you know in a masculine role from the uzi verts hip shaking to the big dude always dancing moving weird like i mean i get it i get it like most of that content is being promoted you know being pushed to the front you know what i'm saying <laughs> we are and we're not heading into it we're actually already there like we're there because first off i hate it for my community, first off, because I'm all about black love. Mm -hmm. I believe in it. I want everybody to just, first off, I want you to have love, whether mm -hmm. wherever it comes from. But I do want it to be, you know, black yeah. on black love. Yeah. But we are in a time where it's just black woman against black men. We mm. just in a whole little war, and I hate it. The men are too sassy, the women too masculine. But it's like each is to blame for why we there. Answer me this, though. What is it that makes a man sassy? You know what I think today? Now, some of the things that I see about men being sassy are not being sassy. It's okay. just that finally some men are able to express themselves emotionally, which is <laughs> great. It's yeah. great. I mean, everybody different. You feel me? I don't think that's great. She probably don't even think that's great. She probably just saying that. You feel me? Like, you could be passionate. You feel me? You could be passionate about things, but showing that emotion like that as far as, like, crying and shit on camera and all that shit on the internet, like, bro, that's feminine. I'm sorry. That's feminine. Don't do it on the internet if you're going to do it. Do that shit in the confines of your home or at a funeral or some shit, but keep that shit off the net right. but i think become coming from the times that we're used to we're like men was men mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like you could feel protected with your men okay now your nigga like we both gotta run <laughs> i can't do nothing <laughs> for you sis like they're like it's just it's crazy because i seen the comparison this is what blew me this is where it comes to like sassy points yeah it was a guy this was his point he said if I wake you up at two o'clock in the morning and say, "Go fix me a sandwich." Mm. You gonna be like, "I ain't going to fix you no sandwich." Like, why would I do that? Mm. But if you wake me up at two o'clock in the morning because it's an intruder downstairs, you expect me to go do something? Mm. How does that even compare, <laughs> no, sir? You can't compare the How two. does that compare? Yeah. But those are the comparisons that exactly. trying to make. That's like that's real sassy because, yeah. sir, if somebody trying to kill us, yes, nigga, <laughs> I want you to go try to help. Like. I'm gonna try to help you too, but you the man. Like, come on. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning, waking me up to fix you a meal is crazy. Like, yeah. that yeah. ain't even no comparison. So that's where the sassy shit is to me. I yeah, she right about that. Now you can't compare those two. But I tell you something though. If I wake up at 2 a.m. and ask my lady, she gonna do it with no problem. You feel me? That type of shit gotta be in a woman. You feel me? It can't be on a woman. You feel me? I I wake up. I won't even have to ask her. She'll she'll probably ask me. You feel me? Like, you hungry? You want me to make you something to eat? Do it with no problem. Ask, bro. No problem at all, bro. She happily, willingly, will do that for me, dog. You feel me? So, and if you think I'm lying, go check out my YouTube shorts, man. Nothing but food on there, amongst other things, but mainly food, bro. So. It's all about the woman in that case, you feel me? But 
a nigga breaking in at 2 a.m. or people breaking in at 2 a.m., that's a no-brainer. You feel me? You ain't even got to ask me to get up and go see. It got to be in you. You feel me? Like I said, pause. Got to be in you, not on you. Mm. I don't, if you emotionally expressing yourself, cool. I don't want you to be out here just the drop of a dime crying, nigga. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm not going to say you sassy for that. But we are definitely in a time where women are becoming more masculine. And I think that more and more men expecting women to do so many things mm. is what's causing women to have to be so masculine. If you expect me to do everything, what you supposed to do, what I'm supposed to do, what the world expects me to do, nigga, I'm going to be a little <laughs> like, <laughs> Because you got the whole world on your back. So, yeah, yeah, you become a little guarded, a little stronger because you have to become that. Well, why can't women just, you know, relax? I think that's really what the issue is. A lot mm -hmm. of the women are just not relaxing and releasing their feminine energy, which would attract uh, male energy. Definitely. They I are agree. They releasing masculine energy that's attracting sassy energy. Yeah. That's why I said is each is contributing to uh, where we're at. And I definitely agree with you. Mm -hmm. The problem with today is, is that, okay, so I don't want to keep going back on back in the day. But women could be a little bit more feminine because the man was taking care of the household. He was doing things that a man, you know, society says a man should do. Yeah. Um, so she was able to just be, you know, real feminine. He had a whole family down the street, but they wouldn't call you, bother you. <laughs> Nowadays, you got to deal with it. Like, it's, everybody wants to be so toxic because they think it's cute. Like, oh, I got a story for social media or whatever. But each is contributing to why each other feels the same way. So women feel this way about men and men feel this way, but we both have contributed to it. But I think that social media has played such a role in that. And it just sucks because it seems like, because you know I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I, I yeah. feel like this is a part of the plan. <laughs> it's a part of the plan to break our black families up. And I just hate it because, you know. No cap, man. That's exactly how it feels. You feel me? Like it's a part of the plan. You feel me? It's like, and it's only niggas. It's only niggas that's doing this type of shit. You feel me? It's only nigga content that's that's showing this type of thing. You feel me? I mean, you might have some spurts of other races here and there, but for the majority, bro, the black shit get pushed to the forefront the most. You feel me? So it's definitely by design, like I said earlier, man. So she ain't wrong about this. All black, black women are all the same and da, da, da. What gets me about that is because it's okay for it to be multiple black men, right? Mm. All black men are the same. I take care of my kids just because that man didn't don't mean I ain't. Mm. Yes, but it's cool for y'all to have multiple black men. But as a black woman, I can only be like sexy red just because I have an opinion. Oh, yeah, here you go. Another modern day black woman. What? Answer me this. This is a question that I have. Uh, I think reality versus social media is a big issue that we have as well. I'm with you on that, Beha. I'm with you on that. That is the biggest problem. I feel like that's the that's the top problem that we have because a lot of these issues mm -hmm. could be avoided, but people play into social media because they are not understanding that. Well, at first, social media wasn't real. Mm. Now, hell, the shit is real because everything that's going on is playing out in real life. And I think that is just such a problem. And I wish social media could go away just for a little bit. Not for the people that make money on it. Yeah. But just for people to have a regular life because I think it would be much more simpler. Well, answer me this. Would it be difficult for a woman to stand up and say, you know what, uh, truth be told, yeah, I am a boss chick. I do make money. And I do sleep with and date men that aren't as rich as I am and don't have the same kind of status that I have. And I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know what? There ain't because nothing wrong with it. Because that's the reality. It is the reality. But they acting like they looking for a billionaire instead of just saying, hey, man, bring yourself over here as you is and let's be happy. Now, nah, let's be real. The women that's really like that, yeah. they ain't the ones online talking like that. It's the women uh, that is full of cap. Oh, I can't go eat a Cheesecake Factory. Okay. Baby, let's be real. Let's go there. Let's be real. 
the more you like a man, yeah. the more willing you're to do anything he say. Exactly. Like this woman out here driving, letting a nigga drive their car. Come on now. <laughs> While they drop, getting dropped off at work. Exactly. Like that's what's really going on. So the more a woman likes a man, she gonna take her ass to Cheesecake Factory. It's the women that's not really living those lives that's online telling other women, don't accept Cheesecake Factory, don't accept this. Don't. Baby, if the vibe is there, you're gonna go. Like Those are facts again, Aaron Ray. Shout out to you, shawty. It's the women out there that's not living like that, trying to tell you not to go to Cheesecake Factory on a first date. Like, come on, you should be happy a nigga even taking you out, especially at that age. Like, you need to accept what a nigga trying to do for you at this point, shawty. Come on now, let's be real. So the real boss up women, yeah. like really boss yeah. up women. That's taking care. Well, I ain't gonna say taking care of men, but are okay with like a man not having as much, yeah. or whatever the case may be. They not the ones mm -hmm. online talking like that. So who are the ones talking like that? And I just how did, the ones and that how we, Well, then how do we go about counseling their asses? Because they no, need to be counseled. When you come up with a list of places that I can't take you to eat and we can't even afford to eat any damn way. <laughs> Let alone, we can't even afford to buy nothing to eat. Right. Then you talking about what you ain't going to eat. But guess what? We're going to be drinking water tonight. Back in my day, you know, we used to call them air sandwiches in my house. <laughs> That's called, nigga, you go in there, eat you some bread and shut up. It's not. You get you some ice and make a wish. Exactly. <laughs> you will Come wish Come on, me. put some uh, sugar and some milk and put it in a blender and call it ice cream. Yeah. Well, there's no canceling them. You know why it's no canceling them? Because social media loves negativity. They love the... The banter, they love the going back and forth about something because there's no way that we having dumbass conversations like yeah. this. Oh, 50-50 and this. Let's be real.